Hello, everyone. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Pacific Drive, shall we? All right. I seem to have left the windshield wipers on, but here we are. So, if you've been watching my series, this will go into that. And the videos themselves are not caught up to how far I am in the game, which is not super far. But what I had just did um, earlier today was I decorated my car. So I completely painted it and put flames on it. I also have put the off-road tires on the car. Alex, good evening. So I have four off-road tires and I have all steel panels and doors. And I'm feeling pretty reasonable. Siloom, good evening. I think we're all ready to go for a mission of some kind. Just trying to pump up. And... <laughs> exactly, Alex. It is the Hot Wheels feel, right? Nice old school look to it. And I'm pretty happy. I could put a side storage on again and try that, but... I tell you what, I put a storage on here and it got knocked off. And I lost the stuff inside, so I'm a little reluctant to want to build it again. But I think it just takes some fabric. So let me see about what that would actually cost me to, uh, yeah, the side storage. Uh, no, this actually isn't too hard to make. I can make that. Alright, let's put it back on. Let's do it. Alright, so I got some storage on the side. I got a station wagon, and if I look at this, how we doing? We need to fill up the fuel tank. Man, it's really raining cats and dogs out there. <laughs> yes, Siloom. It's a matchbox car that's on fire. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so once we top this off, I think we're ready. So there's a few things I've got. Um... And I want to show you guys before I get going. I have... Uh, I got a crude flashlight from the dumpster, which is great. I didn't have the blueprint to craft it. If you acquire an item, do you get the blueprint for it without using the machine? Or do you still have to unlock the blueprint to craft this yourself? That's one question. I also uh, made this anchor radar. I, I really don't know what the purpose of this is. I'm going to be interested to see how that works. And then I do finally have a Liberator for the first time, so I'm excited about that as well. I don't believe I need to carry... Um, I think that's right, Alex, but something came up on the screen when I picked it up. Maybe it was just the log entry, but I mean, I'm not sure. All right. So, let's look at our options. I have... Um, been avoiding doing the main quest like I want to do in a lot of games um, but I don't know you know if that's a good idea or a bad idea but what I uh, let's see here um, do I want to go here unstable zones are brutal yeah that's where I died um, I've only died once in the game and it was a zone, it was in um, a zone that basically lost stability and I didn't understand, um, along with having a quirk. So I'm not going into an unstable zone right now, but I, I might go into this one and just kind of map out all of the ones that have a question mark on them as I continue to get parts and learn the game. So why don't we go over here? All right, I'm just mapping that in, but I'll check my blueprints. By the way, I also unlocked this guy, and uh, I have a bunch of parts in here that I'm going to see how they repair while I'm out in the zone. Uh, looks like we have a new fax machine message. Uh, la mayor a de elos uh, parsen ignorar a las personas son ven uh, hicolos que no les gustan. Um, okay, fair enough. Full heal, that is great. Uh, so I have 1.2 stable energy kind of left over. And this is the, uh, you know, Numa tube, and I don't think they're Oppie sending me anything. Uh, is there anything I want to craft? I forgot to check this. 
Uh, I don't have any... I don't have enough rubber. I'm missing a lot of, like, basic stuff for crafting. And then as far as the blueprints go, uh, let's look at the tools section. Um, a do to do. No, no, this isn't the right section. Lights, flare gun, crude flashlight. Yeah, no, I don't have the recipe for it. Um, I do. I can make a flare gun though, and I think I might make this. Well, I think Alex, I could be wrong. Um, but Oppie sent some kind of message, basically saying like. This is where I am on the map, but don't come visit me. So I wonder if I really made an effort to go visit her if if that worked or not. I don't know. Anyway, I want to craft a flare gun just for shooting at the tourists to make them explode. The only reason I like it is to make the tourists explode without making me explode. But luring abductors away is also a plus. Okay. So, let's go, people. Let's go have some fun. Now, here's a tip that I got. People were saying that I could adjust the field of view such that I could actually see the map without having to turn my head. Now, I don't know if I really want to do that, but that's just something that you, you know, theoretically could do. So, I could go into settings... And I could, you know, go to, uh, maybe it's in player field of view, yeah. And I could adjust this. Yeah, I was at like 85, I think. Exactly. And I could go to like 105 and see what that looks like. And that doesn't do it. I still can't quite see it. I could see it a little bit better, but I'm going to go back to normal. It's fine. Um. It'll throw me off if I'm not playing at the field of view that I'm used to. Oh, wait. Car field of view. That's what I might need. No, I still can't quite see it. Okay. It's cool, though, that you can customize that stuff. I never really mess with field of view myself in games. I just kind of deal with it. All right, let's go. Hey, I thought I had set this to uh, start immediately. What's going on here? Huh. Um, boy, all of my options somehow, maybe I accidentally pushed reset to defaults. I think I did. Um, anyway, so I played with easy ignition, easy shifter, um, not faster nights, but, um, I'm fine with losing some items because I know I can get my body back. Let me see what else I've got here. I might do equip part swapping. It's annoying to have to drop things, but I understand it's part of the game. Uh, maybe it's inaccessibility, actually. Brighter nights is what I want. Here. Oh, no, it is on. Okay, good. All right. There we go. All right, here we go. I hit the bush. Right out of the gate. What have I done? Damage modification is the only one that disables achievements. Okay, cool. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, I still want the game to be challenging. Um, and with my driving, trust me, it is. But I may s mainly am just going for accessibility and quality of life stuff.
All right. I don't know if that's a bug, but it always tells me warning vehicle health empty when I enter a new zone. And the vehicle health is most certainly not empty. Okay. And let's see, where are we? We are, uh, let me actually pause it. Okay, so if I look at the map really fast. Uh-oh, could be a quirk, good point. So this is like an audio recording, which I've gotten those before. I don't know if I want to mess with getting the anchors if I'm trying to go to the next zone. Do you guys remember, if I get an anchor, do I have to go through a gate or can I take a safe exit? Like, will that basically ab abort my mission to go to the next zone? I did fix that, Alex. It was messing me up so badly you won't even believe it. Always grab them? Okay. So I don't have to open the gate. I can just go. All right. Good to know. Let's go. I'm going to turn off the headlights because, you know, it's daytime. All right. There's one of those fun guys. Oh, there's some beautiful floating debris here in the zone. A little radiation happening. And... I am going to quickly stop, get out, and uh, there's some radiation here, but that's all right. Uh, all right, let me go ahead and hit the pry bar. Oh my God, that light's bright. Holy smokes, I'm not used to it. I love it. Alright, take the stuff. Ah, there's a fax note. I actually have too much stuff on me. It's funny. I, for I need to put some things away. Chemicals are so good to see. I upgraded the backpack once, Alex. Um, okay. Let me turn that off. Yeah, you see how my car door is opening? That's not good. Um, that means I have some kind of quirk. Whoa, look at this conga line of tourists this is hilarious all right um let me go into my bag and let me equip this and i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of blow them all up or as many as i can i'm gonna put uh the liberator back i don't need it on me at the moment Faded, good evening. Dude, the mannequins are no joke. The mannequins are called tourists, and they're just some kind of oddity that appears in the zone, and if you get close to them, they explode. So they're uh, very deadly mannequins. All right. Putting the car in park opens the door. Okay, thank you. I got to check that one. Grim, good evening. Good to see you, my friend. So you see there's still a bunch of mannequins over there, but I want to see if they had any thermosap because that's my... Uh... Yeah, it opened the door right away. Thank you. I need to definitely address that. Plastic. Um... Let's see. Give me the vacuum. If I turn on high visibility loot, it's much easier to see them. Uh, here, why don't you uh, go ahead and put this uh, on number five or four. Yep. All 
Looks like no parts for me. Yeah, my uh, my headlights are on for sure. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh, that's a that's a tough uh, road sign there. All right. Beautiful looking bridge. It's a shame. Oh, my actual engine light is on. It means that something's wrong with the engine? Okay. Needs a, I'm going to have to look at that and try to repair it. All right. I'll take all of that. And let's go. I'm not above scrapping. I'm here to scrap. I scrapped this whole car. I hit it with a saw. Everything breaks. What you got it? Summer tire? I break it. Panel? Consider it broken. Tire? Going down. Open the hood of my car. Okay. And it says, uh, carbureted engine and, um, shorted spark plug. I need an electrician's kit. Okay, I actually have that. Let me get my vacuum out. Start getting all them parts. Oh, yeah. It's... It's a great day to get parts. Okay. And then we'll just kind of put these over there. And then electrician's kit. Um, go ahead and equip it. And uh, fix it. It's done. I think. Yeah. Looks good. All right. Okay, um, everything else looks pretty good. I'm going to just go ahead and get this anchor while we're here. These cars don't have much. Run. You're beautiful. So as far as I understand it, you guys can correct me, but until I actually open the gate, you know, the, the feces aren't hitting the fan, but I'm gradually making the area less stable by taking those out. Hey, Tea Leaf Blue, good evening, my friend. I am enjoying the game, and yes, it definitely gives you the Pacific Northwest vibes for sure Twin Peaks here we come well what I'm wondering is like I took a stability anchor out right but that doesn't does that not negatively affect me until um, I open the gate or is it making the whole area less stable and more dangerous by taking those things out Lexi, Pacific Drive. Good evening. Good to see you. Uh-oh. Here they come. More unstable. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. All right. Now, here's a good time to ask you guys this. I haven't built the thing yet that you can use to, like, deal with these dudes. Um, oh, hey, hey, hey. Put it in park. What I normally do is just use the scrapper on them. My car is rolling away. <laughs> I 
Yeah, Lexi, they kept, those guys will come in and mess up your car. They kept coming in and like putting it into um, drive. Oh boy. Here we go. It's getting spicy. It is getting spicy. Uh-oh. Geysers. I'm not ready for this. Get in. Let's make it happen. Turn that off. Go. Oh my god. It's happening. Supernatural. It is happening. Alright. Get away from me. We're going. Oh my god. The car's jumping. Took a little ride there. The family truckster got a hit. And I'm not going to the gate. I'm going to have to go through. Oh my god. No. Oof. That was close. Okay. We got to watch out for these mannequins. Here. Let me mark this up a map. Yep. This is the right way. There's a mod you can craft that puts it in park when you get in and out. Oh my god, I want that so badly. That's one of the main things, like, that was something I requested in my review. I find it so weird that it I don't automatically do that. I am not going within the speed limit. I'm going way too fast. I'm out of control. Here we go, people. We're going to the next zone. Everything's fine. So I hope I have enough stability. Now, also, can you guys... Um, you can heal yourself using the Arc Dock. Oh, I don't have that mod either. Can you guys tell me if you know... You can't go back home unless you... With your items, unless you open the gate, right? Like, I can't just decide to go back home. Because all these exits are closed. Right, so you have to open the gate. That's what I thought. Okay, I'm going to turn off my radio. Okay, and I'm going to look at the map. And this is where we want to go. Look at all these places up here. So I'm going to scavenge as much as I can. Um, hey, Nicholas, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Have you guys found, is there anything, is there any reason to collect the audio tapes besides lore? Does it do anything for you? Because I haven't really been... I've gotten one, maybe, so far. I haven't really made it, like, a point to go get them. If you like story... Okay. I do like the story in this. I think it's great. But I'm focusing on just leveling up right now. My health is bad, by the way, so let me just pause for one moment and go into the old backpack and let's eat some food. Alright, so I ate four, so that should take me to 91, theoretically. Yeah, exactly. I can't open the gate yet because my anchor juice isn't high enough. But it's getting there, to be honest. All right, we should stop for trains. You always got to look out. You never know. As I get blindsided by a runaway locomotive. Wow, this zone looks terrifying. Very, very upsetting palette to the uh, color. It looks like the world is on fire. All right, and let's see here. Oh, man. Every time I go through a tunnel, I am definitely worried. But, at the same time, I still want to loot it. Yes, Tia Blue. I was thinking about that song. Actually, I heard that song at the gas station the other day, and I was like, wow, I really haven't thought about Soul Asylum 
and Dave Perner, um, or Purnell, or whatever his name is, in a long time. Oh, okay, so the storm can't come in unless if it's not in the zone. It just can't shift into here, so I'm safe to just get everything. Oh, I know it. Shows my age, too. Ah, uh, perpetual stability. Yeah, these are the zones that I like because um, I, I have a hard enough time dealing with these zones. Okay, I cannot see here. Hit me. I need those side lights. I can't see anything. Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Fading, I bet you do. I bet you've got the tape, the CD, headband. Does anybody use this anchor radar? Is this a complete waste? I was so unsure about crafting this, but I'm like, my map shows it. Why would I need it? Is it just if you're walking around and you want to be able to pinpoint it more easily? Oh, I forgot to fill up my fuel can, I think. That wasn't wise. Hey, Toon Souls, good evening. Oh, do you mean you use it in the zone you're going to leave in because does it help you find a gate or anything? Oh, a few cars piled up. No problem. Oh, yes, I love this. This is a pro car. The Arda Investigator. What you got in there? Oh, they got Repair Putty. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, there's invisible anchors. Thank you. I didn't know that. I am learning so much. I love it. Okay. Um, all right. Put all this stuff away. Well, I'll put it back for now. I don't need it for now, but I'll tell you what I do need. Repair Putty. Hit me. You got anything else over here? Can I siphon some gas from you? Oh yeah, you got some. I'm going to take it. I'm stealing all your gas. Give me the good stuff, buddy. Pump it. Stealing it. All right, now it's full. Doesn't hold very much. Well, let me top myself off. How's my own fuel? Yeah, hit it. That's right. I top it off. I'm not running out of fuel on this job. All right. I'm going to run out of fuel on this job, but I just wanted to pretend like I'm doing the right thing. I need a dome light. Can you get a dome light in this car? I mean, my... You know, I need a, a hatch light. I need a dome light. Like, what's going on? Front seat? Ah! Okay. I need open on door. I need to set I need to toggle it. All right. Now, uh, there is an anchor right... Oh, no. That, we're not by it. I just set the thing there. Okay. Let's go. All right. Oh my. Turn the headlights out. <laughs> this is quite the moment. Really is a good looking game. I never thought I'd need rubber, but I actually do for quite a few things. I'm gonna use my side storage. I'm getting wild.
Vacuum time. Give me the stuff. Can put the repair putty away. All right. Uh, looking really good, actually. My scrapper is about to break, so I'll craft another one. Oh, cool. Thank you. Well, good thing I fixed it. Doors open. Car doors open, dude. You're darn right it is. It really was. I think it was on for like my entire Let's Play that I I had a spark plug that went out. <laughs> but to, to be perfectly fair, Alex, I just earlier today unlocked the recipe for the electrician's kit. So I wouldn't have been able to fix it anyway. Oh my god, that was a trick. It put a big mountain right after the jump. Well, I I guess I should have been going faster. Oh, my whole door came off. Oh, now I'm embarrassed. It, this is how I died. Because of this quirk. I thought I had fixed it. I fixed some of it. But because when your door is off like this, you're... Uh, exposed and I died internally I wonder if my door is just lying around over here or if it just disappears is this it where's my door you guys see it give me my door back I know it just came off when I did this I'm calling the management Unacceptable. I'll make I'll make a new one. Fine. No, here it is. Here it is. It's in like perfect condition as well. Just kind of fell off. Not the strongest. We'll get it back on there. Yeah, this is just another day. Another day in the zone. Look at that. Window didn't even break. Flames are looking perfect. Now that's a car. Tell me you wouldn't want to ride in this station wagon. I don't know. I think it just fell off. I know. Isn't it? It's the kind of ride that screams fun family adventure. Road trip. That will make you never want to take a road trip ever again. I think when I tried to go up the ramp, it just came off. Uh-oh, abductor, get out of here. Alright, how we doing? 35 miles an hour. No, I'm definitely... I'm going 45. I could be pulled over at any moment. Arda could come get me. That's some flares for you. Fuel tank empty. It's embarrassing. Hit it. Bust it up. I got a backup. I made this. I break everything. Chop it up. I really want to get wood paneling, but I haven't found it yet. Kind of a bummer.
All right, there we go. I have a whole gear just sitting there. Well, guess what? Gear goes over here. <laughs> You're in, gear. Oh, I didn't see that, but that's awesome, Alex. Thanks for letting me know. All right. All right. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, I meant to ask because somebody mentioned it um, to me. I completely forgot that there was a Prince of Persia game that came out in January. And um, from what I could tell, it actually was reviewed pretty well. And it looks like a cool Metroidvania. Did anybody play it? I haven't played a Prince of Persia game in quite some time. I played the original Prince of Persia, and it was difficult. Alright, so... These things want to be broken up by what? Scrapper. This is where you get the electronics. You break all their computers. You don't ask questions. Can I break this crate? Nah, but I want to. What experiments were you doing? Huh? Oh, recommended tool handbag. Oh, that's how you pull out light bulbs without breaking them? Interesting. Okay. Well, good to know. Hey, George. What's up, my friend? How's it going? You are so welcome. Thank you for watching. All right. Oh, there's a house. I do love houses. What I like about houses, among other things, is that you can get cloth in there. And we're here for the cloth. Oh, I see. So you pull out the ball, but then you still grind the rest. That makes sense. Oh. Job unfinished. That's pretty improper hatchet maintenance right there, buddy. You should be ashamed. Open sesame. What you got in here, huh? Anything? Oh my gosh, a Game Boy. That's vital. Can't I take that? It's busted. Because I busted it. Alright, give me the vacuum. There is a guitar. Because of course there is. Oh man, the push mower. I hate those things. I remember my family got a push mower when I was... Yeah, maybe in middle school, and I thought, oh, this is so cool. I can be, like, environmentally friendly while I cut the grass. And then I tried to use it, and I was like, I'm sorry, environment. All right, let's see here. Good, good. All right. Let's go. Those pleasant bird noises. Boy, we have a long way to go before we get there. I might have to off-road it, but with the elevation changes, I think this is actually probably the safest way. We'll just stick on the road. Oh, 
Oh, there's another one of these little stations here. Do I want all of that stuff? Is that what I'm here for? It's not bad, per se. I don't know if I'm, you know, really, like, dying to get some of these components, but I always feel bad, like, actually walking by and not taking everything that I can. I do need lead, because I want to make, uh... Anything that, you know, could protect me from radiation or whatever. Yeah, you're right. So I gotta, like... Be careful about what I do have. You couldn't be more right about that. Sodium vapor light. Get the vapors. My god, the vapors. Lead apron. That's right. That's what you wear at the dentist. And they say, wink, wink, you're safe. Grind it up. Alright. So I'm going to survey my loot space after this and make, um, you know, educated decisions on if I should stop anymore or if I should just go for the target. Uh, I broke my vacuum. Okay. We'll make another one. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't make a vacuum on the road. You got to be at the better. Yeah, I got to have a tier two crafter. Gotcha. Well, that's all right. I'll pick it up by hand. Like our ancestors did when they were scrapping the zone. <laughs> nice fading. You know, actually, somebody was mentioning that to me earlier, that Caves of Cud is actually going to come out and be full release this year. Like, 1.0 is expected. I should definitely play it again. I'll certainly play it when it comes out. Living and drinking is a way to be. Are you going mutant or a uh, cyborg fading? This month it's coming out? Wow. Touché. I love it. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. There he is. Or Get out of here. Don't look over this way. You'll make me angry. Uh-oh. It's another one. God, there's so many of them. They're everywhere. But I'm far too beautiful. Uh... Okay. There's a storm coming. Well, I wonder if I could just try to off-road it. I mean, I have the right tires for it. And just go... to the anchor. It's getting a little frisky. We may or may not be completely fenced in by electrical jerks happens
Uh oh. Something's happening. Sirens are going. Oh, it's a storm. Okay. So I'm going to quickly stop. Get out. Do it. Let's go. Hit it. What you got? It's all Arda's fault. You got that right. Oh, hey, now you didn't have to pick the place clean. That's that's your fault. What about me? What about my needs? All right, there's a few t-shirts in there. I need the t-shirts. All right, I could break your stuff, but I'm looking for chems. You got any chems? They took their chems. I'm going to break your lab computer. I don't even want this stuff. I'm just breaking your computer out of rage. And your receiver. You're getting nothing. You'll be receiving nothing. I missed my vacuum. I know, Tia Blue. It's like... First, there's this incendiary spray paint. And then, much more importantly, the items that I want have been taken... <laughs> Look, you could have your political views about Arda. That's, that's, you know, your opinion. But you got to share the chems. Oh, the loot lust is so real. I love it in games like this, too, where it's like I am risking my life unnecessarily for it. Like... It's so dangerous, and I'm like, yeah, but I gotta have that tin can. All right, there it is. Uh-oh, abductor. He's got evil plans. All right, we're gonna stop. If I just turn off the old lights, he won't know we're here. Now you go over there. Go. You know, the nice thing about this quirk is it leaves the door open for the arc device. I mean, you do have that going for you. Uh, where are we going? There's some gates back there. Or do we want to get so greedy and go for the anchor? Oh my god, I'm doing it. How could I do this? Uh oh, trees. I hit a tree. Oh, my car door is open. Oh god, there's an abductor. Oh boy, it's a really dangerous area. Greed. Need before... Before greed. And... It's all greed. All right. Uh, there's what I want, but there's a little bit of a little bit of radiation in here. A little bit of danger. Uh-oh. Don't laugh like that. There. You get out of here. Go that way, dude. This is the greed of a thousand years. All right, hit the map. Show me where the gate is. All right. All right, and we need to go this way. And we'll try. It's a little spicy. All right. Between the trees. Okay, we need to go this way. Let's see if we can make it. We are heading, yep, I can see it actually. Don't need to look at the map anymore. Just look at that giant beacon up there. 
<laughs> That's definitely the way. Oh, my God. We're going off the cliff. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a bunch of trees down. Oh, man, we did it. I'll tell you what, though. With this, uh, you know, more durable ride. Oh, I'm going right off the mountain. Oh, this is ill-advised. Oh, no. We've, we've turned around. Oh, boy. Oh, it's happening. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, you know what? Have I cleaned out these places? More like lay on the gas. It's all gas, Alex. <laughs> I should leave now. Let's go. Hit me. We made it. All right. The red circle is what killed me when I died. But my, my, what's this? Are you learning a thing or two? My dear newbie, there's hope for you yet. Newbie. All right, let's fix some quirks. First of all, let's patch up. And let's see here. Gas up. There it is. Gas it. All right. And uh, open up. That thing is full. All right. Hit me, trunk. Now just pick up the transfer trunk. Hit this thing. And put everything in there. And we have like a stack of 20 flares. Get those. I actually don't need all the repair putty that I have. And yeah, I never even used the Liberator once. I was all excited about it. But I didn't find myself remembering that I even had it or to use it. So maybe it's not. Eh, I'll think about it. I guess if I had missing parts, it would be good. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Drop it. We got an urgent fax message. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Bug Watch. I'm Nicole, and I'm an entomologist, which means I love bugs. Today I want to tell you all about a curious new bug I found out near Sierra. Oh, that's where I'm going. A subspecies I don't think we've ever seen before. And here it is. As you can see, I... Ow. Ow. Oh, gosh... Darn it, get off, ow! Looks like, um, Nicole is no longer an entomologist. Let's see if this fixed my car parts. It did, they all got fixed. Man, that's awesome. So we have some steel stuff just waiting. You know what I should do is use my transfer trunk on this. Inventory full. Come on, Tetris this. Don't you inventory full me. All right, fine. Hey, Marzake. How's it going, my friend? Good to see you. All right. So I will put this down here just because. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's try to fix this quirk. So Alex gave us a fantastic hint. Let's run diagnostics here. And, okay, so um, shifter. 
shifts to park. Um, front right door opens. Correct diagnosis. Great. Fixes. Missing ingredients. Oh, I need a mechanics kit. All right, I'll make a mechanics kit. You got it. You got it. We can do that. Whoa, that's something else. Okay. So there looks like there's two other... Is that telling me that there's two other quirks that I need to work with here? All right, so let's see. What am I... What even happens that I don't like? Yeah, Marzake, I'm having a great time with this game. It's in my top five of 2024 so far. It is definitely an awesome game. Kick the car? Oh, okay. Does that give you some kind of hint? Well, fading... So, I haven't played, um... Helldivers 2. Oh, it's a quirk trigger? Okay, I got you. I haven't played Helldivers 2, but for me, it's, um, Bellatro and Shrouded Pacific Drive, Last Epoch, Pal World. Fragon, that's mine. Um, Bellatro and Shrouded. Pacific Drive. Last Epoch and uh, Power World. All right, so what happened? What's going on? Talk to me, Quirks. Um, what else is going on? I don't see anything else. I don't know. I'll have to just keep my eyes on it. All right, so this panel is all broken, so we're just going to take it off. And I'm going to go put it over here into the old repair station. Oh, cool, T. I haven't tried Nightingale yet. I think Alex tried Nightingale. All right. Bam. Um, all right, so most of my stuff is dinged up a little bit, but not horrible. It's like Enshrouded without terraforming. So it sounds like then it's like Elden Ring. Um, all right. Okay, more survival based. Alright, um. Uh-oh. It's full. Actually, no, I think there's a good door in there. You know, and Shrouded has the Valheim food system, for sure. But they last longer. They seem easier to acquire. Install upgrade. Um, 
I don't have an upgrade. I'm just trying to put this door on there. Can I, can I put it on? Did I get out of the panel? Okay. Maybe I didn't get a door on there. Oh, yeah. I got out of the panel. That's the problem. Whoops. Hey, Chaotic. What's up, my friend? Uh, Chaotic, it's a great question. Sometimes I don't do it very well, but I like to play a bunch of games. I have, you know, kind of like, uh, I just like to bounce around. I get easily burned out, so I try to mix it up. But sometimes, like, I really stick on a game. So far this year, um, Enshrouded, Pacific Drive, Bellatro, Planet Crafter, I have really, really been sticking to. Um, okay. I need to paint this hood. That just does not match. There's no fire on this hood. Are we kidding? I don't know about that. Fading, that's a good question. I'm sure the bear people will be thrilled to see you. I need a lot of things. Yeah, this needs painted. It needs flames. These doors need fixed. Oh, it can't fit in there. Here, what if I... The door needs... What? Okay, I need to move this to over here. And then this can fit over there. There you go. There we go. And we got an extra panel. Is there a panel that's in real bad shape? That's slightly bad shape. Slightly bad. I guess... I'm not that concerned about it, actually. I'm going to open up the locker, and we're going to put this panel in there. And let's look at the rest of the car. Most of the tires are actually... The off-road tires are way more durable. Oh, this panel is actually not great. All right, let's get this baby going. So we're going to need some blue paint. Paint this up. I'm sorry, everybody. Style is very important. Uh, I can't, I can't be going out to the zone without the right colors. It just doesn't work. All right. Does it make... Oh, the flames make the car faster? I mean, in my mind, it does. And there we go. And now we're talking. That is a car on fire. Looks good here. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's so good. The the how much you can customize your car in this game is pretty wild. Uh, give me a steel bumper.
I know, Lexi. We're like, okay, we know how to fix the car. There it is. It just makes me feel like I'm going fast, Chaotic. That's right. Everything, the mannequins that are out there in the zone need to know they're messing with something special. And then this is our antenna decoration, which is a rainbow star. You know, just the usual. Charge it up. And let's see here. Let's go to the uh, blueprint. Actually, wait. Let me go over here first. Can I make... It's the more you know, Star. I love the more you know. So, padded parka, is this worth it to just make me not take as much damage? I mean, mostly what hurts me is radiation, not like getting bumped by things, I gotta tell you. Alright, let's look at this. Anything out here we can make. We can make the basketball station if we really feel like it. Uh, we don't have that blowtorch, but we don't have what we need for that. I can make side floodlights. They're not that hard to make. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, here we go. Lead-plated insulated panel, lead-plated door. Armored door. So the insulated door helps with electricity, but the uh, lead-plated door helps with radiation. I wish you could get the combo. Um, we can't build any of this. Actually, wait, could we have built that one? No, we have needed the advanced workbench. You get another side rack on there. And get some more, uh, storage. I like it. We're going side rack. I'm putting stuff all over this car. I wish I could get a missile launcher, but we'll take storage. And then let's see here. Another side rack. I mean, yeah. Large fuel can seems good. I can make this. I've learned it. And let's see. What about the uh, engine? Ah, I used just enough to not be able to make the better engine. Oh, well. Touche. We'll focus on that next time. Limb pulse emitter. Oh, this is the thing that lets you zap the people off of you. Um, which seems kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need 42 throw. Okay, then I wasn't close. Okay, good to know. I'll try this. Whatever. I like to make everything. That's what I'm here for. Hit me. All right. So now we've got a bunch of new recipes. We can put on, I think, did I get that other side rack? What else can I even make? Just... Hilarious. All right. Now, where do I put this thing? Oh, wait, you just hold it? You don't, like... 
doesn't attach to your car? What does that make? Oh, it goes on the rack. Huh. Maybe I need a different rack. Maybe I need like a front rack. Hey, Nader, what's up, my friend? Good evening. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for watching. Um, let me see if I can find this thing in the uh, the tooltip says it's a carefully calibrated device. It, it looks like it goes on the bumper from the picture because it's a picture of a bumper. But maybe you need... Oh, wait, no, maybe it's a device that you install like when you get into your car and you put it like your handbrake. Oh, remove a panel? Oh, okay. No, I think it's a bumper. I don't know. Yeah, it's a bumper. So I can put it on the back. Um, but maybe it's like... Maybe you need one on the front and the back? I don't know how that works. We'll find out. Alright. Um, there we go. It's a skill. Okay, let's check it out. Yep, you're right. Alright, there we go. Now we're talking. Okay. So let me make another side storage, because I can. Well, the large fuel can, and then... Oh, you can't hang it in here. You have to put it in the car. Okay. Huh. Well, I don't like this thing. I mean, I guess it holds a lot of fuel. I do have that feeling that it's going to explode me, but what can you do? Alright, we're going to pick this up, and we're going to go in here. Alright. And I will take out this, and we will take out... Well, I'll hold that. Okay. 
Okay. Got it. And then, let's see. Let's check the dumpster. That is a scrapper. I mean, I guess. Repair putty is great. Boom. Nothing else. Okay. Wire we will take. Alright, I need an extra scrapper anyway, and I will just go ahead and put that away. Now, the repair putty, I'm going to actually use it and just kind of top off this car a little bit. Well, I guess I could save it up for when I really need it. Nothing is in horrible shape. These headlights are in bad shape. I took some damage to the front of the car. I think we can all under agree on that. That seems okay. All right. Okay. I need my vacuum, and I think I'm ready to go. Okay, Alex, that makes sense. Oh, we have quirks. Yeah, but we haven't been able to figure out what they are. Alright, and we are missing, let's see, I have, there's one thing that I'm just, oh, my flare gun. My guess is reset after each run, so might as well try. Yeah, that makes sense. There we go. Okay. So... I don't know what could be wrong with the car. Um, so, but I could just pray and see if I get any of them right. All right, so we say um, battery drains quickly. I don't know. Um, radio switches on. None of that's true. Dome light stays off. Any car door opens. Zero out of four. Ah. Um... Any tire? No. Um, oh, right. What about that warning? Um, car. Uh, an ability? No. I guess we have no idea. No. I'll have to figure out. I don't even know where to guess. Alright, so let's plan on what I should do. We have gone everywhere except for some unstable zones and the quest location. So I guess we should probably just try to go uh, to Serum for the quest and see what's going on. Yeah, Fading, it's a really cool game. It's car maintenance in a supernatural Pacific Northwest. 
All right. Um, I'm ready. How's my inventory? I got health. I got smiles. I feel good. I got two side storage. I could build more, but I think we'll be all right. Oh, right, Alex. Yeah, that makes it hard. That's why it was actually... It was hard for me to identify my quirk in the first place. Now, wait a minute. That's actually my B1. Did I have my wipers on? Okay. Let's just pretend that I did. Here we go. We're going out into the zone. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, wow, that's cool, Alex. All right, I'm going to go back here. But we have to first go here. So, because I want to make sure I get to the quest location... I'm going to focus on going for the exit, but it looks like everything is right along this main road, so it's nice and convenient, and we don't have to even think about getting distracted. There is a cutback to a tower. We'll just avoid that. Anchor juice and go 100%. You are right. However, I can't not go here. I still feel the need for chemicals. But maybe I don't need them as much as I, I thought. This flashlight is just so good. Oh, they looted it again. These monsters. Well, we got some stuff. Computer? Hello, computer. Right. Gas mask. That's not going to help you. It's the lazy man's way. All right, we're going in. Get the wipers on. Get it together. It's a serious storm here. Man, that's a lot of power lines hanging low. I'm going to tell the art of police about this. There should be some anchors coming up to my left. And there's a little plasma as well. Ooh, Art of Police. This is where they are. I could talk to them right now, actually. They got the steel panel. Man, that's great. There's a gas station as well. Keith Run, good evening, my friend. Live and drink indeed. Bam. Hit me. Just a little bit spooky. Let's see what the big deal is. Hit me. Let's go. And there is actually another... Uh-oh. Uh, anchor... Well, right there. These are the good days. I'm going to go to the gas station before I pick this up. 
because after we get this, we are going to be flying for the exit. Workbench. So I could make a hand vac if I found this in the field and I had the right ingredients. That's kind of cool. Oh, wait. I didn't take the food. Give me the food. I might get hungry. Your radio. What a joke. I could break your radio, but I don't have time for that. I can get some gas, but I don't think I'm really that low. Let's go for it. We're going to turn out the light and grab a light. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Oh, the car took a... Oh, oh, okay. I got thrown up on a platform less than ideal wait wait where's my oh I'm sawing my own car because I I dropped my anchor I didn't even realize it I'm sorry car that's I did that I I apologize all right let's go and we need to go I'm gonna look at the map hit me for here and turn it on get it going let's go straight ahead Second star to the right. Let's do it. Hey, T, thank you for the bits, my friend. We're flying. We're going by it all. We don't care. Oh, my gosh. It's a little bit... I need high... Give me the high windshield wipers. That's as fast as they go? Man, I need the industrial. I need the Bosch wiper blades here. This ain't cutting it. Low speed. Barely see. Um, yeah, this is exactly where I want to go, actually. Great. Boom. So, yeah, Fading, the way that this game works is, even though it's a driving game, it has procedural nodes on the map that have boundaries. So it's like you kind of fast travel between these points these locations are randomized and can have um, the roads stay the same as far as I understand but the loot changes and then they have different conditions and anomalies and things that affect them so you set your path and now I'm going here but when I open the gate you'll see the real jump And that thing is not messing around. All right. And let's see. Check the map. I am here. And uh, we... There's a whole lot standing between where we are and the deep zone. Like an upper wall and the entire mid zone, for starters. It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built Lim stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. It was the only way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. And yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. Lim technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra Morta have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? Okay, so she wants me to find the observation tower overlooking Sierra. So it's on the map here. I can look at it. The gates are already... I already have enough limb stuff to open a gate, but we're going to go ahead and mark it. And Alex says this quest almost killed him. That sounds promising. 
but did you have flames on your car? This is a tough zone because the uh, it's all dirt roads, basically. I know, Heathrun. I am like the Ghost Rider. The Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider. Hey, Falcor. Good evening, my friend. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. All right. Let's see. So I need to actually go up to the observation tower, which I am not doing. I, I took a... I zigged when I should have zagged. Let's see if I can just drive straight up the mountain. I'm sure this will go fine. This is how you're supposed to drive, right? Mm, I don't think I can make it. I'm going to go back down. I hit a couple of saplings. Okay, so let me look at the map a little closer. Um, I'm going to go on foot. I'm just going to do it on foot. This is very intelligent, what I'm doing here. Let me turn off my lights. Uh-oh. All right. Got a little uh, switch between your tools bug or something. Okay. Unless that was a, a quirk that was just on me as a person, which I don't think you can have human quirks, but maybe you can. The towers are locked up tight, but you can tighten up security protocols all day only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Anyway, the overload code is 4735. Find that stabilizer map and scan it for me. Crab, good evening. Good to see you. Oh, boy. I was assigned to clean these towers out every time the guards rotated. And things I saw. Let's just say that keeping a watch on Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those guards one bit. This is a nice tower. You get a boombox. Probably a Soul Asylum CD or cassette. Perhaps the Spin Doctors? Uh, let's see here. Turn light into lead? All right. Scan the stabilizer map. Here it is. Got it. Hit it. I got it. I'm overlaying the map with the available routes near you. She's overlaying the map. There you go. Found three sector stabilizers that'll do the job. They're not too far, so I've added the location to your route. The access road will lead you straight there once you're ready. Alright. Thanks. I would definitely call these access roads. That's that's certainly... Oh my god, look at that giant pipe. That's scary. Alright, there's my car. Let's try not to turn an ankle. Plan which tower will be my last to leave, says Alex. Alright, so let's look at this. Let's actually do a correct plan. I, I'm really good at planning... Okay, so if I go here, um, there's a tower Oh, do I need to go to this next zone? It looks like 
I need to leave the whole zone. Okay. So then we'll go here. I can't. Yeah, she says exit the area via the stabilized access road. So I could take some more anchor, you know, while I'm here. I mean, probably seems like the best possible plan. Let's do it. Here we go. Tree down. Juice up and go is... It's pretty much a lifestyle, isn't it, at this point? Just some random floating rocks. Totally safe. Good stuff. And we aren't really close to it yet, so let's just keep going. Oh, my sweet God. I ran right through the stop sign. Now I'm embarrassed. Uh, right this way. I see it. Oh, it's that sweet anchor. Were you making it stable? just made a choice. Alright. So where am I on the map? And we want to go here. So let's do it. Drive through a tree or drive through an anomaly? It's a tough call. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I said I was going to go, but, I mean, when they've got a, you know, crystal meth lab over here, i got to kind of check it out. I mean, scientist workstation. Oh, is my inventory full? Oh, you just can't vacuum it. Oh, if it's like situated in the environment, you can't vacuum it. It's only for scraps and such. I gotcha. Toolbox. Alright, that was a good one. There's some plasma out here. My car is getting a little bit not great. Or my uh, backpack is getting full, is what I should say. Hit it. Looks like uh, somebody left their headlights on. <laughs> Uh, no, that was the wrong button to push. There you go. Alright. That's pretty decent. There's more, but I need to go. Let's focus on doing the quest. We can always do looting runs later. We've got a job to do. For old Loppy. Loppy. 
good old Appy. Well, I really gave that tree some what for. You know, my headlights do flicker, but I don't know if that's just a natural, you know, result of driving in the zone and being close to anomalies and stuff, or if that's, like, straight up a quirk that I have. Okay, good. Well, that's a good clue. What causes it? Ooh. Yeah. I'm having trouble driving. Like, my car is like... I'm flooring it, and I'm doing like 40 miles an hour. Yeah, sharp turns, Michael, that makes sense. And it's also, I don't know, maybe it's just, I, I'm not going very fast. We got problems with the old car. All right, so we need to go uh, this way to follow the quest. All right, well, we need to get some more towers for Oppie and then try to get back safely at some point. All right. Okay, so there's a bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech and those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. All right, so this is the way out right here. This is the only gate. And that means that we probably want to hit this one last so that we can be right by it to trigger it. But if we're within if I mouse over this, if I'm within the yellow circle, does that mean I can't open the gate because I'm too close to it? So maybe I'd need to like It's my turn to give you an explanation. About the mass hallucination event that Tobias and Francis were going on about. But don't worry. I then maybe nearly as long winded. Because there honestly isn't much that we know about it. It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the deep zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. At 0400, their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. The surge was an impossible amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any man-made source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10-mile radius. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. I'm gonna, um... I would say I'm probably in the first 25% of the game. Barely scratch the surface is wild. I heard it was only about 30 hours, but maybe um, if you do side quests and such, it's much longer than that. 
the abductor is not moving. Which troubles me. That is some plasma. Alright. Let me get out of here. So what I'm going to do is... My plan, I'll show you on the map. This is my plan. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to go to this one, this one, and this one, moving clockwise, and then try to leave out this gate when I get this and go straight down like that. Because I'll be too close to this gate to open it. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's much longer than I thought. All right. This is the way. Follow the pipe, she says. We're following this pipe. Now, well, that pretty much clearly leads you to exactly where we're going, and we will go this way. baddies everywhere, but we'll just leave them there. All right. Here we go. Oh, God. That was a little bit of an aggressive move I made. All right, this is it. The big time. You were supposed to be doing your research rather than keeping track of my whereabouts. Okay. Wow. Touchy. All right, let's see if we can uh, just. This is probably not a good idea. What am I facing here? Mm, no, I can't do it this way. I need to go more gradually, maybe. Oh, yeah. Safe. Like a dream, we ride right down the mountain. Yeah, worked out great. All right, there's another tower right up ahead of us. A few little hiccups. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Treasure chest. So these things right here... These are like what I call treasures. These are pneumatic deposit boxes. And you open these, yep, and there's a bunch of good stuff inside. There's like paint, there's dumpster pearl. Very, very good stuff. I might as well loot this while I am here. Now that we know the remnants were connected to the mass hallucination, maybe we can figure out what caused it. Oh boy, oh boy, do I have theories. Don't stop. 
part. Dr. K and Alan clearly uncovered some new way of using Lim to motivate that gamma ray burst. My health is at 89, so I'll eat one food. Ooh, yes, precisely. Where did gamma rays come from? An outer space. Feet back on planet Earth, kid. There are plenty of terrestrial sources of gamma rays. Thunderstorms, for example. No, 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 no. You, you said it yourself. The energy levels from that night are much greater than anything we've seen on Earth. Sure, but going straight to aliens for there's countless perfectly scientific possibilities. Perhaps Dr. K and Alan developed a limb-assisted mass particle collision. Oh, heck. Tapped into some sort of gamma ray reservoir. A reservoir? Or a portal? A portal? <laughs> to where exactly? To Atlantis. Of course! Now why didn't I think of that? That's absolutely it. Uh, I used my electric thingamabob to try to get those guys off. I don't know if it worked. All right. Well, portal to Atlantis. Sounds great. The back of the car is in bad shape. We need to look at that. Looks like the back window broke and the back left panel is in disarray. I'm taking this long road to get up there instead of just driving up the mountain. Yeah, that blew my mind that the ceiling kit fixes glass. My radio turned on. That must have been a quirk. All right, where am I? Stop, stop. Okay, yes, I will find a way up. It's a little rainy here. Just a nice night drive. No problems. There's the pipe. Yeah, yeah, I need to fix the car. When I get to this uh, tower, I'm going to fix it. All right, here we go. All right, so let's do some repairs before things really get bad. So this tire needs some work. And let's see. I right, give me a ceiling kit and I'm going to fix the back window. It needs a mechanics kit because it's loose. All right, we're going to put back this. And then we're going to get a mechanics kit, which we don't have, but we can craft. However, I also want to just uh, take out some repair putty and uh, fix a few things here. Like that. Anything that's really, really bad. We're doing okay, kind of. Yeah, it's it could be worse. All right. So then, let me make the mechanics kit. I do drive it like that. All 
right, I got the mechanics kit and let me equip it to fix my tire here. It's back. And then I need to uh, add fuel. So I've got this like monster fuel can. Let's go ahead and top off our fuel. Let me see how my battery charge is doing too. Before we, you know, prepare for that last little push out of here. Battery's empty. Yeah, just about, right? Okay, good. All right, we're going to use a jumper here and uh, charge up the battery. All right, better, but not 100%. So can we craft another uh, battery jumper? Yeah, we can. And we'll just have this ready on standby. Shouldn't need it, though. Okay, uh, this looks good. All right, let's go in. Actually, let me turn off my lights. Protect my battery a little bit. Okay. Uh, some stuff we could break here. Some vapor lights. We want to take out the light bulbs. We can, sure. We can come back here and shred this. Let's go inside and get this done. Dude, I leave the lights on for all reasons. I am scared of the dark. And it helps me find a car. It's like, hey, look at those bright lights. Who left their lights on? Oh, it, it was me. I, I know where it is. Hey, Oppie. You've never cared about any of the zone stories and superstitions. So, why now? What's in this for you? What I do is not and has never been any of your business. You're asking us to trust you. So, yes. It's our business now. How about this? You two sign off and count orbs or whatever it is you like to do. And I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself. Excuse me? No, 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 no. Tobias found this remnant. This is his discovery. Sure. And I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion. But I won't let anyone interfere with this. Yikes. All right. Here we go. We either throw everything we can at this thing, or we lose this chance, and the answers to the mass hallucination are gone forever. This isn't like one of your little Sasquatch hunts. I'm not letting you get your tinfoil pseudoscience anywhere near this. This is too damn important to me. It sure didn't seem too important earlier, when you messed up and nearly killed the driver. You want to play that game? You really want to talk about our track records? Screw you, Oppie. I'd rather run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. Oh, forget it. We're wasting our breath with this old bat. There's got to be another way. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I... Look, if you want to waste your precious time picking apart bird droppings and squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. But we're better off without them. Trust me. I'll get you through no matter what. This really is my last chance. All right. Five to one glass to electronics. Right, but electronics are pretty... I mean, I haven't been at a loss. I actually haven't used these very much at all unless they produce chemicals. I was going to just ask you guys that. How often do you find yourself using them? Mm-hmm. All right. 
We're going in. Yeah. Thermosap would be nice. Alright, we're going to keep going for it. I can see it right there. Let's hit it. Hit the wipes. Let's go. It's going to get bumpy. Alright. We might be going... Yep. We're taking the shortcut. Good thing I got the patented off-road tires. Um, oh. Oh, that's an abductor. Okay, I was like, what's that over there? Oh. Darn. Oh, wait, actually, what's this? Oh, a charge stop. Does this, like, refill your car or something? Oh, refills your battery. Cool. Well, now I don't have to worry about my battery. Uh. Alright, turned off the lights to avoid the abductor. Lights back on. We're going up the ramp. We already know how well this works. Perfect. Did I scan the station I was in? Um, I didn't have to scan it. I just had to push a button. Ooh, they got some thermo sap. You love to see it. Here we go. And they got a mechanics kit. And that is a steel door, which is cool. I don't really need it right now, but I appreciate that it's there. Oh, God. Keep doing that. All right. Put that away. And that's where we need to go. All right. Everything's going to be fine. I can already tell. That's what I am ready for. So, should I open the... Well, I'll wait to open the gate until I get in the car. But... Let's go ahead and gather everything we want to first, then. Oh, cool. I don't know how many of these I've actually been inside. Oh, it's empty. Hardly anything in here. Lead shielding, here we come. We're getting lead. I don't have that much charge left on my scrapper, but I think I have a backup scrapper, actually. Yep, here it is. That's scary. I'm gonna break everything. Let's get all this lead back to our base. Give me the lead. Alright, so we can now... Uh, use our vacuum. Just pick up all this debris. All of these parts that we got. Give me the lead. Very good. Okay, great. I'm going to put this stuff away as much as I can. Alright, most of it. My health is good. 
close back. And let's see. This one's open too. Ooh. A free liberator. Alright, well. Don't use it too often, but I'll take it. Alright. Here we go. I don't even need to set the gate. It's just already open. Okay. Going. Here we go. Straight down the mountain. Yeah, when you hear the siren, it means the stability is going. And when the stability goes, things get really bad. So here we go. Uh, let's see. I can get there on the road. I'm going to try to use the road, if possible, to keep safe. Alright, there's a little death field there. Alright, there's where we want, that Tower of Light. So we're heading for it. Alright, we don't want these guys, so we're going to try to bypass them. I'm going to try to get myself somewhat back to the road. Yep. Oh boy. I hit that. I didn't mean to. Okay, let's go. cutting through we're going full speed oh floating rocks not good all right head to the light and we're just going to drive through the trees it's all we've got Got it. That was scary. We're back home. And an achievement indeed. Nice work out there. The sector stabilizers are fully operational. You've got a straight shot toward the expansion wall. One more thing. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. Once you cross that wall, the mid zone is another beast altogether. Oh, the mid zone. Well, that's what I should be scared of. Oh. Alright, so we do have an idea about one of our quirks, which is the headlights flicker. So let's go ahead and charge up the car. Open this. Let me get my trunk. Alright, transfer trunk time. Side storage one. In. Wait, give me these flares. Back storage. Hit me. Okay, I'll also take these paints and... Mm, that looks pretty good. And do we need the mechanics kit? Do I have a spare one back here? I don't, so I'll put it back here just in case. All right, wonderful. And then let me go to my locker and just put in as much as I can there. And then 
here. Now I will take out the dumpster pearl. Yep. Grinding it up because it gives you the good loot. We're going to go ahead and uh, open this and put that in there. And we get a bunch of steel sheets, which is nice. Canned food. Uh, some MREs, apparently. Uh, we'll go ahead and just use this guy. Bring everything in there. Sweep it up. And... Oop. Isn't there an easy way to just take all this stuff? There you go. Animal stripes. That's hilarious. Oh, man. That's brutal. All right. We got a message waiting for us. Let me just kind of top off all these stacks that I can. Top off this. I'm going to go put the uh, paint away on the paint shelf. And the decal as well. Now we're talking. I think I've got a bunch of extra flares too. Let me put those in there. I also have a bunch of food. So. Let's look at the fax machine. And it says. Real talk to us today about how to unlock the potential of your Arda retirement plan. Because your savings should be part of your present. As well as your future that's wonderful. I need an art of retirement plan. And let's see. Are all of our parts? Well, of course they are. Fully fixed. Wonderful. Let's think about what do we want to do here. Um, this locker seems to refill with these parts every single time. Or maybe it's just random parts. Okay. So we could get an improved antenna. But, you know, do I want that investigator module? Ah, this upgrade for the Tinker Station will report back to you which elements of a diagnosis are correct. A new chip also adds the ability to spend anchor energy. Oh, that's what you were talking about. You would get the investigator module or the improved antenna. And then let's see what else can we get. do 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 um, available. So we could get expanded locker, improved antenna, and investigator module. And we could get uh, a seat rack. That seems cool. Lightning rod, turbo light engine. But are you saying the engine is pointless because I need so much uh, turbo sap to even make it? Okay, let's just get the approved antenna then. Bam. What does the improved antenna do? Just better range at scanning or something? More information? Oh, this is why you go up to the roof. I did this earlier and I was like, oh, it's cool that you can go up here, but why would I? Oh, for this reason. All right, it's up. And scanning antenna. Oh, I see. So you can scan two before you choose where you want to go on your mission instead of one. Okay. I've only been really scanning one, you know, and then just going there because that's where I wanted to go. But I get it. As you want to get more and more parts, that's super useful. Okay. Then we're going to go to availability. And we're going to get... Uh, I still kind of want this seat. Side fuel tank. I could see that being interesting. But the seat rack. Um, all right.
And... I could put a, like a parts back here, I guess. If I'm going to put these anywhere, though... I'm going to put it right here. There we go. Alright, craft another circuit board. Okay. Will that unlock a new thing for me? Ah, yes, the auto parker. And, um, jump jacks. Here, let me get the tinker upgrade. Uh, this is so funny. So you can jump your car. Yes, rudimentary weight and motion sensors will automatically engage and disengage the parking brake. This is so good. Oh, there's so many tech trees. Oh, right. All right, let's get this baby. All right, so now we are upgrading our Tinker station. And, for example, we know that um, headlights toggle when... Um, car moves fast? No. Oh, hold X to spend 0.5 juice to know what the base problem is. Oh. Steering wheel swerves hard and then headlights toggle. Or no, flicker. No. Okay, flickers is wrong. How about toggle? No. Switch off or dim? Dims. I knew it wasn't like straight off. It was like, but okay, we got it. So then we just need an electrician's kit, uh, which we can craft. Sweet. Oh my gosh, I'm fixing some quirks, people. This feels great. It's really hard. I mean, yeah, I don't know how you tell. You just use a guess, I guess. All right. Um, go over here. Fix this thing. So, honestly, I want to fix this one. But I know it's like, it feels like my car is slow. I don't have that many guesses. But it would be like... Um, battery is low, car moves slow. No. I know, Michael, isn't that funny? I was like, well, you know, I guess it's just got a problem. No, it was my quirk. Um, I'm going to investigate it. 
Zero hints found. But... Aww. Well, then I'm not going to bother with it. Okay. So then let's go and... Let's see what else we can make. Auto Parker. Oh, oh, you have to go backward. I thought it just automatically defaulted to backward. That's my fault. Okay. Here, go to uh, Auto Parker. I want this really badly. It's going to save me some time. So it's an ability. I crafted... No, wait. I don't think I crafted it, did I? I had to craft something to get there. Now I've got it. Um, where did you put this thing? Over here? And then, well, let me see. Let's look at it. It, it goes in a seat rack. I put it in there. So now we have the auto parker because it's mounted to the seat rack behind my driver's seat. Sweet. Now, I don't know if I have to actually enable it. Nope. Okay, it just does its thing. Awesome. Love it. Uh, my door came off. Did I do that? <laughs> Alright, um... This looks good. Yep, we've got the dumpster. And... It's throwing up. That's a chemical. Got some repair putty, too. Good stuff. Alright, and I think you made the good point that we could go ahead and just kind of, you know, put this in the scrapper. No, no, just uh, pick it up. I put my vacuum in there. Unintentional. Here, give me this. Oh, cool. Janelle, take care. Thanks so much for stopping in. We survived. Listen to some Soul Asylum and have a great evening. Alright, I'm gonna... No, wait. I did this the wrong way. I need to take the stuff out. I need to put this in my locker. There we go. Okay. First aid kit. Repair putty. Bear putty. 
Hey, Don Corleone. Good evening, my friend. Awesome. I'm still playing it, and I, I am now pleasantly alerted to the fact that I thought I was kind of getting further into the game, but now there's actually way more that I need to do, and it's awesome. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, let's see. You know what? I think I have... I'm going to try this. For no reason. So you use the extractor and it's a one-use item? Wow, now that I didn't know. That's hilarious. Or maybe it just was damaged or something? Mine's gone. Oh, you need... Oh, you don't need to... Nothing was happening, so... Good to know. Okay. Well, I found one, so that'll replace the one that I used. You just need to push it once. Okay. Oh, too much carbs. Thank you. You just need one shot. Okay, that was my mistake. My first time using it. I was like, assumed it was, you know, like the scrapper, where you just hold it down and you just, you know, rip it off. Oh, how mistaken I was. Classic mistake. All right, we're going to get rid of this thing. There we go. All right, so let me go put this stuff away. And let's inspect our car. Let's see where we're at. I need to check overall the durability of all my plates. Because I have, like, this door could be replaced... The hood is definitely in bad shape. Let me get this thing off. And open this up. And go ahead and give me a new panel. Um, here. Just drop this. And then pick this up. Yeah, I think that's a great point. I should be taking armored panels off of the, like, Arda inspectors or those big, big cars or whatever that have them. And I definitely need to start doing that. Right, I got a door. Which door is bad door? This door is no good. Uh, I'm going to try something. Just to see how much I enjoy it. I'm going to go to uh, gameplay. And I'm going to go to uh, try the part swapping. Look at that. It's not realistic, but I like it. <laughs> it saves me the time of like setting down the part, picking up the other part. But I could see why you would play the other way, too. Just to get the feel for being in the body shop. Doing your thing. I'm going to take a panel out. And I'm going to do the quick replace on this one. And we'll just put it in here. How's my bumpers? Talk to me, bumps. Actually, I repaired that bumper. And then this bumper is actually a limb pulse emitter. Okay, so I'm going to go into my pack. I got some repair putty from the dumpster. So let me just go ahead and patch up some things. One. It's got to be... Either a part that I feel is fragile or have some, you know, significant damage. That's fine. This is a part that just gets hit all the time. So, Don, what that thing does is it's like... It's kind of like in Subnautica Below Zero when you can send out an electric shock around your car and knock off those bunnies that like to stick to it is what I think it does. 
so you jolt them. Give them a little of the good stuff. Okay. Boy, I have more first aid kits than I can actually use. And I have a bunch of flares. Okay, that's good. So, let's see what's available. Lightning rod. So, you can put this maybe on a side rack. And... It can go in... Now, does this take energy from everything, like those anomaly uh, power conduits that come up from the ground and shoot electricity everywhere, or even the plasma arcs, towers, or is it only, like, thunderstorm? Uh, this seems good. I guess, but I need to make another side rack. Yeah, that is what the description looks like. If it was every piece of electricity, it would be good. But, it, you know, I don't know. Alright, let's see. What else do we need out there? You know what else I want to do is... I have steel. But... Just... The idea... Uh, I'm out of uh, enough limb fuel to make anything great. So that's... That's fine. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to practice using this the right way. So what if I actually investigate... Uh, oh, I have to guess on the first. Oh, no, I would need 1.5 to try to guess. I don't have that much. Okay. I really don't know what the problem is. All right. Let me look at here. This looks good. I think the car is actually ready to go. And if I now go here... This is perhaps where she's saying I can go. But I can't get there until... I guess I've mapped out a path. Which would include, like, you know, going here, for example. And I have some choices of which way I want to go to get there. The way forward is north. Oh. Okay, then. I... Th I was looking there. I was just going, like, path of... Shortest path. But I... Oh, you're right. Maybe it's this way, and then... Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, well, that's good to know. Well, fantastic. I got to tell you what. We are doing so much better. Our wagon looks better. And we completed that quest that I was a little bit nervous about. But now I have an auto parker. I've got side storage. Got a stronger car. And feeling much more knowledgeable about the game. And yet I know it's going to get even harder and, you know, more ridiculous. But... We're in for it. Everyone, it is indeed my bedtime, so I want to say thank you so much for coming out to the stream tonight and helping me along with some Pacific Drive. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a fantastic evening or day. We'll be playing some RuneScape tomorrow, and then on Thursday we will be checking out Enshrouded on stream. Alex, Crab, Grim, 
Dawn, Too Much, T, Fading, Michael, Heath Run, Falcor. Oh, Falcor, I missed your question, my friend. Yes, and Shrouded is worth picking up on early access. I bought it, and I'm having a great time with it. Chaotic Chickens, Lexi, Marzak, Nader, Everyone out there, take care.